with me today Bala and Madhur and with the help of both of them we are going to understand what the future of smart farming will look like. So Bala my first question is for you. With smart farming coming in, you know, the, what will enable the dynamics of affordability for the farmers? Well, it's all about, first of all, giving access to data, access to technology and access to capabilities around automation. So that creates a lot of efficiencies for the farmer in terms of how they do the work, making them more productive, making very informed decisions for the overall health of the crops. Right. And uh, again, smart farming means smarter agriculture. Uh, what does it mean for the farmers? Definitely, uh, it is number one. Today there is data, there is very important data around the plant and crops, which is not available to them. Yes. So, uh, this is an ecosystem, this is an agricultural technology kit, which has a set of sensors, which derives data, passes it on to a gateway, that it makes it available to the farmers through a very simplified intuitive mobile app that they can access on their smartphones. Number two, the power of 5G comes in, especially where there is edge analytics required with image-based uh, uh, analytics and uh, optical uh, information gathering about plants, with which they are able to make very informed decisions about the health of the plants and make, it, make their operations more proactive. That's awesome. Yeah, I mean, farmers are going to have a good time. Definitely, that's our vision as well. Madhur, that yeah. brings me to you. Um, with Airtel 5G coming in, how do you see uh, smart farming getting revolutionized? So, uh, look, agriculture is one of the prominent sectors for India, especially, and 23% of contribution towards GDP comes through agriculture. That's right. right? And to make India a $5 trillion economy, I think. Uh, agriculture has to have the right access of technology to them right so like uh, government has the mission of har khet ko pani similarly it should be har khet ko technology as yeah. an access right now there are two ways one of the uh, again important mission of government of india is to increase the farmer income by some percentage uh, and one of the ways to increase is definitely increasing the yield of the crop for farmer the second way is how the total cost of this yield can be brought down. Now using intelligent sensors in these farms doing, uh, which can uh, do precision farming for using utilization of optimal resources whether water, energy or fertilizers and at the same time doing smart farming based on some intelligence that we, uh, video based analytics or camera based analytics can bring in for the time to harvest or to protect the plants from uh, uh, insecticides and pesticides uh, and using the right volume etc. This can really help the farmer reap the benefits by minimizing the labor cost, by minimizing the energy and water cost and also improving the yield of uh, by some factor. So that way I think this is going to make life simplified for the farmers at the same time uh, increasing their income and uh, allowing them access to new methods of doing the farming. That's awesome, that's great and there you have it. Smart farming, smart agriculture, this time is for our farmers. Thank you.